you love Pilates, but you are a beginner, you don't have a lot of experience, but you do want to feel stronger in your body. Perhaps you're not really regular, you start, you stop, you don't have that motivation to stick to your routine, but you want to feel stronger, you want that picture of vitality, you want to wake up feeling like strong when you want to love your body basically, right? So I've got a beginner's transformation program for you. It's a six weeks program with 14 classes that I've designed to take you from where you are right now to feeling stronger, healthier, and just loving your body inside and out. The program starts Monday, January 17th, and I know that you will love it. So after this class, please do come and check it out. All right, let's get started with our class. So we are going for a 20 minutes beginner's Pilates class to help you transform your core. If you want to see progress, you've got to build consistency in your routine. And I know you know this, so try to move your body on a daily basis if you can, or three, four times a week, whatever works for you, whatever you can do, do it, but with consistency. Come on the front of the mat into a seated position. Feet are open, hips width apart, hands on the knees. We're gonna lengthen that spine. Take a big inhale. So really grow tall through your beautiful crown. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna crumble down and we're gonna do that a few times. So inhale, lengthen, sitting tall, pushing the shoulders back, exhale, release. And again, inhale, lengthen, sitting tall, exhale, release, boom. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Uh -huh. And from here, we're gonna do big circles. So circling the torso around in both directions. And we're back in the center. Hands on the mat. We're gonna roll back halfway, drop the elbows, and they're gonna push up and lengthen. So here, rolling back. So I really want you to understand the spine articulation here. So right, pushing down, rolling away, one vertebra at a time. The lower back is touching the mat here. Exhale, I push back forward and I lengthen. Let's do that a few times. So having the hands on the mat is great because you know, you got, it's safer. As a beginner, you wanna feel safe when you're working on your core, but you're still working your core at the same time. Okay, keep going. Really learning to build that strength, working in a way that feels good, that feels safe, right? A workout shouldn't be, oh my God, I'm punishing, I'm healing my body. It's like I'm nourishing my body, I'm healing my body. You know, I'm giving me all the good stuff. Give me your last one. And we're gonna roll all the way down from here. We're gonna roll up into a bridge, one vertebra at a time, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, roll up, one vertebra at a time. Exhale down. Two more, inhale. Exhale down. Last one, inhale, we're gonna stay up here. We're gonna start activating the glutes as well as the core, obviously. So here, tuck the bum in, lengthen that lower back. We're gonna keep the hands on the mat. I wanna make sure the feet are directly under the knees. And off we go, lifting those heels up, inhaling and exhaling. So when you do this exercise, you wanna make sure your hips are not going up and down, right? Your hips are not doing this. This thing up here, and we're just working the heels, taking them up and down. You're gonna stop feeling the burn in your bum very soon. Just breathe through it. <laughs> and keep inhaling and exhaling. your belly button tucked in. Give me a few more. And hold the last one up here. Push your hips up a little bit higher. Engage your glutes. Keep inhaling and exhaling. And very slowly release down, well done. Right knees coming into tabletop. We're gonna flex the foot here. 
No, actually, let's keep it pointed. We're gonna imprint that lower back, right? If you don't know what an imprint is, an imprint is where you push your lower back slightly into the mat, and there's basically no gap in between your back and the mat, right? Your hands cannot even fit through. We're gonna stay in imprint. It's the safest way for you to work out when you are a beginner, right? Always in an imprint. All right, let's go extend that leg into diagonal. Let's take it down and up, nice and slow. Inhaling down, exhaling back up into the diagonal. Hold it, tabletop and down, other side, tabletop, toes pointed, let's go. Just really getting the core nice and warm. Table top, bring it down. And again, other side, we're gonna use the torso this time. So you come up here, right? Belly button in, and let's go. Inhaling and exhaling. Give us a couple more. Hold it here. And down, let's hold the crunch position here. Let's go on the left. We're still in that imprint, extend the leg. And give me about 10 of them. If you feel like your neck is getting a little bit of a strain, make sure your chin is pointing towards your chest. The back of the neck is nice and lengthened. Inhaling and exhaling. This is our last one. Back into the diagonal, tabletop and release. Take an inhale, exhale, roll back up into that bridge, release the hip flexors. And this time we're gonna see if we can bring the hands up, the arms up with the palms facing in. And we back to the first exercise, just lifting those heels up and down, working on those glutes, strengthening the hamstrings as well, building power in your quads and your core here, right? Your core is always your center, right? If you let go of your core, you'll feel a pinch in your lower back. Or rather, if you're feeling a pinch in your lower back, that means you're not engaging your core <laughs> strongly enough, right? So really pull that belly button in, lengthen the lower back, tuck the bum in, and use your core all the time to always work in a very safe and super effective way. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Hold it up, push the bum, push your hips up. Exhale, release. Well done. Bring both knees into your chest. Mm, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Circle the knees around. And let's go back into the tabletop with both. All right, again, we're in the imprint here. If you're a beginner, right, you might be here today, right? Your knees might not be able to stand directly above your knees without you feeling pain or finding it a little bit too hard. So that's okay, just bring your knees a little bit closer to you like this and you're fine. But if you're okay here, you stay here. Your lower back is imprinted into the mat, there's no gap. Your hands cannot fit in between the mat and your back. All right, while we're here, we're not gonna stay here and get bored. Let's scissor the arms with some resistance. So what do I mean with some resistance? Basically, you don't wanna flop them around nice and strong the way you're holding them. If you've got some weight, you can work with the weight here. If not, don't worry. Just create that resistance in your arms. And right here, you're gonna feel that core connection. Right, you're gonna really feel your core holding you together, helping you move those arms, stabilizing the torso so nothing else is moving but the arms. Keep inhaling and exhaling. I didn't check the time, what time I started. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'll try to stick to the time. I will come next to the screen in a second and check the time to make sure I don't go over as usual. I get carried away when I'm teaching. I'm like, oh, I want to say this. Oh, I want to do this exercise. <laughs> 
And you guys are probably thinking, um, you said 20 minutes, not half an hour. All right, give me a little bit more. Keep inhaling and exhaling. And then let's come back in the center. Let's release one leg, then the other one. Well done. Back into that bridge, stretch it out a little bit. Inhaling and exhaling. And bring it down, back into a tabletop again. All right, this time. Now, this might be a little too challenging for you as a beginner to be here and do these. If it is, just drop one foot, work on one leg as this, and then on the other one. As a fact, so let's do this one to start. Let's do this to start, and then you can repeat it. All right, right leg into tabletop. You're gonna bring it down and then back into tabletop so down and boom exhale and down exhale up inhale exhale a little bit of power in this one right my foot is barely touching the mat but it's going quite low so right now you're working your quads and your core at the same time stabilize your hips give me three give me two Give me one, hold the last one here about an inch off the mat, just right there, engage your core, and if you can, pick up the other foot off the mat. Oof, you feel that, right? That core stability, everything just goes bam. Hold it, hold it, hold it, nice. Other side, right foot down, left leg, tabletop, let's go extend, lots of power in the legs. You're always coming back into tabletop, don't come back too close to your torso, you come back here, 90 degrees angle, boom. Really being aware, the stability of your hips, right, nice and strong hips, facing the ceiling. Inhaling and exhaling. Last one, hold it down. All right, when you're ready, picking up the right foot off the mat a little inch. Inhaling and exhaling, pushing that lower back into the mat again. We're always safe in that imprint. Always keep that imprint. And exhale, tabletop. All right, let's do this. Press your hands into the mat. We go right leg down and up and we go left shoulder we don't want to go too fast here right want to make sure we're doing it properly rather than just fast and a lot right quality over quantity always 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 especially in pilates so if this is a little too challenging you do the version we just did earlier inhaling and exhaling Give me a couple more. Nice, bring your knees into your chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathing in, exhale, release, arms back. Push into that bridge and then stay in the bridge a little bit, release those hip flexors. And exhale, bring it down, well done. We're gonna flip it up onto your hands and knees. All right, come here into your four point kneeling, shuffle to the front of the mat. Give me a quick cat stretch to get that spine warm and moving again. Inhale into your cat. The cat is a great position to stretch your spine and give you, increase your flexibility. Exhale out into your cow. Pilates is very much based on the flexibility and the strength of your spine. And a strong and happy spine is a strong and young body. And that's what Joseph Pilates, I mean, something along these lines that he says. And it's true, right? So really do look after your spine. Exhale out. And then we're back here into a tabletop. We're gonna shuffle a little bit more to the front of the mat and we're gonna heat it up. Really quick reminders here for you beginners. When we're here in a four point kneeling, the knees are right under the hips, your hands, your wrists are under the shoulders. This is something everybody struggles with a lot. Where is your body weight? What am I doing? It hurts, oh my God, like what the hell? It's completely normal, you'll get used to it, but just find your center on the mat. Don't shift your body weight too far to the right. 
right or the left. This is something we work on a lot in the Beginner's Transformation Program alongside with other things of course uh, but yeah your alignment your position where you need to be when you're working out so then you can get super fast results all right extend the right leg back let's go kick it up one and a two when we're doing this the lower back is flat again we're in the imprint no arches something i see a lot especially on youtube is this <clears throat> right now we don't do that we work in control we don't want to ruin our back <laughs> and throw ourselves around and have no like have loads of injuries later on right we want to work intelligently safely so engage that core keep your back safe couple more hold it up and bring it in nice one other side extend Toes pointed, check your back, pull the belly button in, lengthen yourselves, push yourself away from that mat as well, right? Back of the neck is lengthened, you're looking directly at your fingers, you're inhaling and exhaling. Last one. Nice, bring it in. I'm gonna go back to the right again. I'm gonna change it up. We're gonna go one, down, one, bring it in, and back. So tap and up, side, shoot. Ta -da -da. Ba -da. Nothing is moving on the spine. Don't lean too far to the left. Keep your center. Let's go. Shoot, ba -ba -ba -da -da. and down. Ta -da. Shoot. Last one, shara, para, bring it down. All right, in between both sides, we're gonna plant our toes into the mat. We're gonna fire the body a little bit with what we call the bear hug or the four point kneeling plank. <laughs> Sorry, plank prep, whatever we call it, doesn't matter. All right, toes into the mat. You're keeping this four point kneeling position. This is challenging, don't panic. My lovely beginners, you got this. Bring your knees off the mat a few inches. Inhaling and exhaling. If you're shaking, it's completely normal. Don't worry about it. Even I am shaking a little bit today. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Give me a few more seconds. Keep your knees close to the mat. Keep your belly button tucked in and release well done well done well done shuffle come off shake your wrist if they sore again it's normal don't worry about it as you're building some strength and some power this will feel much easier again be consistent in your routine and you'll see the difference within three weeks all right let's go left side legs extended quick check of the bum tucked in belly button pulled in i'm pushing myself away from the mat and off i go up to the side extend keep going Last two. Nice, bring it down and we go for a bear hug again. We do this a lot, quite a bit in the beginner's Pilates <laughs> challenge, but by the uh, transformation program, sorry, but by the end of the program, which I run in September as well, so September last year, Pretty much everybody could do a plank, like because it's the fact that you do this every day, right? Because in the program, I've designed the classes so you repeat some of them every day. And by the end, you feel so strong and the classes are only 20 minutes. So by the end, you're like, wow, I can, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. <laughs> All right, let's go, enough to chat. Toes into the mat. Breathing in, breathe it out. 
Yang, knees off the mat. And I promise you, even if you don't come check out the program, you don't join it, or maybe you can't afford it, you know, my classes are here for you, come back to these, do it every single day, you know, practice every single day, or let's say six days a week, and there is no way you will so you will find the transformation, you'll feel different, you'll feel stronger. We're we still holding. <laughs> I'm chatting to you so you can hold a little bit longer. <laughs> 10 seconds. And we drop down, well done. Push back, catch your breath, have a little second. And we back up here, well done. We're gonna do, what should we do? We're gonna do a quick side, side work as well, which I think is really important. So come on back here into your four point kneeling. We're gonna do the rotation together. You're gonna extend the right leg back behind you and you're just gonna rotate that left knee. Come to the side, make sure the left hand, the knee, the foot are all aligned. Hand on the hip. Let's work on those obliques a little bit. So your side abs, inhaling and exhaling. And remember, practice gives you progress. Keep inhaling, exhaling. Couple more. Hold the last one up here. You can extend that top arm as well. And bring it in, well done. Let's go on the other side. Four point kneeling, left leg extended back. Find your alignment, rotate that knee on the mat. Align both hands, hand on the hip. Let's go. Make sure you tuck your bum in, huh? Here, so push your hips forward a little bit. Our last one. We hold it up, extend the arm. Inhaling and exhaling and bring it down. Well done. Come on back into your full point kneeling. Circle around a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then let's do a little downward dog. Oh, quick little stretch here to finish it up. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Take an inhale and bring your knees down. Well done, my lovely. <clears throat> well done. So, Monday, January 17th, beginner transformation program starts. Six weeks. You get me in your inbox every day with some motivation. You're part of a community. We have a community on Facebook. And everybody motivates each other to make sure you show up on the mat, you're motivated, you're doing the work. The classes are only 20 minutes a day, you can do them twice a day if you have the time, if you can, or just once a day, but the results are incredible. So come on, click the link, click the link, sorry, in the description box and just come and have a look, you know, just check it out and also read the testimonials of, you know, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen that did the course in September. So much love for you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep moving every day and I'll see you in the next class. Bisous.